Good morning, everybody. What's going on? We are on an awesome adventure on the west coast of Florida. We are here in Homosassa Springs, and we're doing our annual scalloping trip with the famous Captain Red Ed Brennan and Nadine, his wife. And then we're also joining along with Leslie and George, their neighbors. So we are going to have a blast. We've been hearing about awesome scallops out there, plentiful. So I'm very excited to get the, out there, start snorkeling, and do our under, underwater Easter egg hunt. <laughs> yeah, this is one of our favorite trips of the year, and we're we'll gonna show you exactly where to, you know, who to go with, and uh, where to get them cleaned, and how to cook them, of course. Whenever we travel, of course, it's brought to us by Landshark Lager. Thanks so much. Yes. And uh, you guys all ready? Let's go scalloping. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go guys. All right, let's go scalloping. They're waiting on us. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. All right, guys, we have arrived at the scalloping spot, just a, a short boat ride away, and it's a beautiful morning. We got a little bit of a wind chop, but Red Ed, Captain Red Ed Brennan, is gonna go over the scalloping and how we do this today, and just basically give you guys an overview of how to come out here and do this. Well, welcome back. It's always Thank you. nice to have you here. Uh, what is this, the five years now we're Fifth working on? Fifth year you know? scalloping. So, uh, yeah, this, we've had a great start to the season this year, probably one of the best starts in many years. Uh, they're thick as thieves out here. We've been doing really good, almost limits on every trip, um, getting three and four in a breath. So uh, they're, they're, they're out here, and we have some nice size to them. So too. we have a good chance of getting our limit today, oh, is what you're saying? I, yeah, nice. I'll be disappointed if we don't get 10 gallons nice. today. Man, that's my target, 10 gallons. Heck yeah. Uh, even if I have to get five. <laughs> <laughs> He usually outbeats everybody and catches the most scallops because he's out here every day. Uh, yeah, <laughs> We're going to see what happens though. I had 41 trips booked the first 28 days on my boat. But this is what we're looking for. Uh, you got a dark side and a light side. And if the light side is up, it's a lush green grass. If the light side is up, they stick out like a sore thumb. If the dark side is up, their, their camouflage are a little harder to see. And, you know, as you know now, uh, you know, it's conditioning your eyes what to look for. Once your eyes figure out what they look like underneath the water, you know, they're everywhere, they're easy to get. Most of the time they'll be standing straight up like this and they have a row of cobalt blue or turquoise blue eyes on the edge of each shell and if they see you coming, they propel themselves by opening and closing like that. They can't swim fast enough to get away from you. And when you grab them, you want to grab them from the hinge side like this. Uh, if you do grab them from this side, they will pinch you. It doesn't really hurt. It'll startle you more than anything. So try to grab them like this and pinch them before they pinch you. Just hold them closed. When you put them in your bag, hold the bag closed. They will try to swim, swim out of the bag. Uh, so, and again, you got this down now. Uh, you're swimming along, just bend at the waist and it'll take you straight down. We're in what, three and a half, four foot of water. You know, you're not even gonna have to kick to get down. And so when you get down, you see this one, look real quick to either side, there's gonna be more around. When you have him, don't worry about him. Keep your eye on the next one. Because uh, uh, if you take your eye off him, you probably won't see it again. You know, we got yeah. some wind and current, the tide's going out today, so you know, everything's gonna be moving and mostly in the grass. If you come across a sandy area, try to get off the sand as quick as possible. We've been getting them mostly in the grass. In the grass. You know, they're easier to see on the sand, but they're not as plentiful. Right, okay. And then uh, every once in a while. Yes, uh, if you guys watch my videos, you know I love looking for these. Yeah, these are special what, ones. What'd you get, last four last year? I think so. Uh, the orange shells, uh, these, these are a trophy catch. And for some reason this year, We've been getting a lot of the orange ones. And, nice. Uh, I know how ex excited you get about getting them. I yes. think it was four last year. Yes, got I think it. you're right. Uh, I had sent Brian a message of, a few days ago. Was, we've been trying to get all the orange ones before you get here yes. this year. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we should have a lot of fun. Like I said, I, I, I expect that we're going to get to 10 gallons. We have some good swimmers in the boat with us. And, uh, 
then we can go back and eat some. Yeah, and it's two gallons per person up to... Yes, in the shell, it's two gallons per person per day up to 10 gallons per boat. So there two five-gallon buckets full. There you go, guys. All right, you got the little spiel. If you're interested in doing this with Captain Red, I'm going to link it down below. But let's get in the water and start catching our, or harvesting our scallops. Let's go scalloping. Hey, one more thing. Yes. Give me a little kiss right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he gets. <laughs> nice. of course was in the water as well so we've got quite a few scallops on the board and curious to see what else everybody got we're gonna take a quick break and then jump back in the water but it's just absolutely glorious beautiful nice warm water and super clear too you can see the scallops today nice thank you how many did you get four and a half gallons we are loaded up. Probably got halfway to the limit. Yep. Uh, years ago, when Megan was with us, we uh, started a tradition a few years ago. I think it was uh, uh, vodka that we used. Oh. <laughs> but this year, I brought my favorite tequila with us, and it's the new tradition after the first dive. Everybody's got to do a nice hit of tequila. <laughs> Oh, look at him go. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, there you go. I think it's he's a teeniest little sip. No, take it for a kid. No, 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 no. <laughs> and I got a land shark to chug it down after that. Yeah, there you go. Chase it. There you go. What? Warm me up. Yeah, that's true. What kind of tequila is that? Strong. Yeah. Tastes like water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember? <laughs> I'm pretending like I was Megan. <laughs> My, Ryan might put this B-roll in here. I don't know if you got that when Megan was on board and we were doing the fake tequila shots. Megan swore. She, we, we were forcing peer pressure in my sister Megan to do it. And then when he brought that out, I knew it was. And I'm like, oh no, just faking it on camera. Anyways, that's a nice little uh, tradition that we do. Usually it gets my sisters because they're so gullible. And, and they swear, then they don't want to do it. And then we peer pressure them to do it. And then they realize it's water. So just a little cute, funny joke. <laughs> nice. I like it. <laughs> you can't play the wrong with it there. <laughs> I do remember. I didn't remember at all. I, was I like, totally What's the remember. Crazy coop right now? Do you remember we all taste drank from it, and then we're like, Megan, no. go, Megan, go, and she's like, I no. Did it, then you did it, and then finally you didn't want to do I it. I know. And then Megan was like, well, I gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs>
All right, guys. We got quite a few scallops on the second run here. I don't know, that's maybe two dozen, maybe a little more. I gotta take my fins off here. But beautiful conditions, the sun's coming up and it's just a gorgeous day over here in beautiful home of South of Florida. And I also just had a little cobia, juvenile cobia following me around for the longest time and he was getting very annoying. But very cool, awesome to be in the wildlife. And now I'm gonna get out, drink some water and get some land shark fueled up inside me. Whew. Let's see what else, how much we got now, right? You might have a I limit. Think we're gonna have probably close. 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 Any more orange ones? No. Nobody? Huh. I was swapping out little ones for bigger ones though, because I saw. Yeah, I got like mediums, and then I'm like, oh, this one's bigger. Let me throw that one back. I got quite a few really big ones that time. You know, I mean. All right, back at the dock. Yes, here at McRae's, close to McRae's. And we're dropping off all these scallops to get cleaned by the cleaners, which is the Huggins family. Yes, they've been doing this for a million years. And listen, don't do this yourself. You gotta pay these nice folks to do this. Otherwise, it just takes a lot, to me, it just takes a lot of fun out of it, but. There's one of our other buckets. Now I got our second bucket. All right, then, then you go and you have a land shark, and they call you, and you pick them up. It's great. Yeah. And, all, and, you, and do we ask for shells? Yes. You we want to get a quiet few Yeah, shells. get a bunch of shells. Well, let's, uh, let's eat a raw one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to have a raw one. That's yeah. kind of a tradition. And we, I like to cook them on the barbecue in the shell. Like, they're going to clean them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to cook them, but get a bunch of shells so you can cook them. Quick, quick tip, y'all. Just uh, She's cleaning up another batch over here. Just want to show you the difference between a, a large, a real scallop, and a small scallop. Don't take these little ones, these medium-sized ones. Let them grow through the season. She just said a couple weeks, they'll be plenty big enough. Uh, but there's no meat in these where there's enough meat in the bigger ones. So when you see these, throw them back in the water. Don't take them. You can see there's way too many little ones here. Look at this. Yes. There's no meat there. So you're just killing little scallops for no reason. Right. Just saying, guys. Right. You know, this whole area makes the living from the scalloping. So, you know, don't waste the resource. I mean, enjoy it. But don't take, you don't need those little baby ones. You're not going to get no meat. I so. mean, you can see how small they are. How do you even think there's meat in there? Yeah. So. <laughs> are these scallops are not sea scallops. This is different, bay scallops. Right. Those, uh, yeah, I mean, they're all legal, but just don't do, just don't do it. You're just going to waste your time. Throw it back in and go grab another one. Take another five minutes to get your limit. No big deal. There's not enough meat in there to, to keep the little ones. It's a waste of time. And, yeah, let them grow, and uh, at the end of the season, they'll be big enough. Yeah, there the, you go. she said it takes a couple weeks. Yeah. Yep. All good. Here, Brian, put in. All right, annual tradition. Annual tradition. We are taking our first or our fresh raw scallop here. Doll the goodness, Dollops as Captain goodness. Redhead would say. All right, you ready? Cheers! 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 Mmm, <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh God, they are so good. I want more. You know what I mean? I want more. <laughs> See how good they are. That's delicious. Yeah, yeah. Super good raw. It's, it's, it's like eating the ocean. Yeah, you it's like eating the ocean. You don't even need to cook it raw. I mean, cook it. You don't need to cook it. And Captain Renner says all the time that clients are always so shocked about how good they are. Really good. They're really good. It's better than a clam, better and I, I, it's better than oysters. I don't know about better than oysters, but they're good. This, the oysters are different. Yeah. 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 Yep. Here's another yeah. shot. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Huggins family just hooked us up. <laughs> we just gave them a really nice tip and paid them for what they just did for us. It took about 48 minutes to do that, so that's why we have them do it, because it would take us all day. <laughs> so we got a nice big bag. That's all of our scallops right there, believe it or not. They barely don't even fill up the one-gallon bag, so that's how big the scallops are. But super excited to cook these when we get back home. Pudding is going to make a delicious meal, and we got our shells here to use them as a half shell and cook the scallops like that. Thank you, Red Ed, for an epic day on the water. Again, I'm going to link his information right down below, Red Ed Adventures, homosassinredfish.com. You guys want to come over here and go out for some scallops. Got to do it this summer, of course, before the end of the season. And then, of course, he does fishing charters as well. But hooking him up with some awesome Smith, Smith Lay Knives. I can't talk today. That's a bait breaker. We got the 7-inch. He's got the 9-inch. Oh, very nice. And we've got a nice... Um, 
foldable knife right there. Pocket knife. I, I know yes. who's gonna get that, man. It's getting spoiled. Pocket, and the pocket knife we're giving him a diamond sharpener right here, oh, which is awesome. Nice. We got a, a medium much. and a nice. coarse side, and then it hides in right there. And of course, we got to give you Darcy's little stickers. Whoa. And we got to hook both of them up with my lucky fishing bracelet. So you can wow. see I'm wearing red for Captain Redhead today. Nice. Matching. So. And we, we also gave him some land, a case of land shark, but the neighbor stole it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. The land shark's over the there. Shark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyways, these are stuff I sell on my website. If you guys didn't know, check them out. Dressesalloffshore.com. But you can see fish hook and anchor bracelets here. So hooking them up with the red, because of course it's redhead. He needs that. Much. Red keychains. He's all, all set now. So we got to get our scallops, and then we're going to drive home for the cooking we put in portion of this video. What's up, guys, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Puddin' Scallops Edition. I'm so excited. I love scallops. Who doesn't love scallops? And uh, I can't wait to kick them up and eat them. We had such a great time over there with our Red Ed. We're back at the house right now, obviously, and we want to thank the Higgins, the Huggins family, for shucking these scallops. Guys, don't do that on your own. It's, it'll take you all day. So uh, scallops, I don't know, scallops can go with anything, just like, uh, What's that movie uh, with Tom Hanks and, and bubblegum shrimp? You can have shrimp grits, shrimp and shrimp on the barbecue. You can do the same thing with scallops. Uh, when I grew up, I used to have them. My father used to just broil them. I grew up on the Great South Bay on Long Island. A lot of baymen around, and my, my father was one of them. I used to gill net and clam and do all that stuff. We used to just broil them in the oven with some butter. Very simple. Last year, I did it on the barbecue. Delicious like that. That's what you'd use those shells for. You get a shell, a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic. And you got what Red Ed would say, a dollop of, of goodness, okay? It tastes like the ocean. <laughs> Delicious. Today, being that we're from the South and Darcy loves grits, we're doing scalloping grits. Just like shrimp and grits, but scalloping grits. We made some, already we made some nice, uh, just regular old grits. All you gotta do is read the can, okay? No big deal, read the box. We had butter and cheese in there. So delicious already, I'm ready to eat all the grits. Then, we made some bacon. All right, took the bacon out. And I sauteed up these scallops in the bacon grease. Got those already. Now, we're gonna get going here. We got some good stuff. We're gonna add bacon. That's the crumbled up bacon. Hold on, I gotta stir it up a little. So we're gonna saute these a little bit. Lemon juice. The menu, the recipe is from Red Ed. It's from his website. We're gonna put the link down below. Scallions. That's a ton of scallions. I'm gonna save a little for the top. Garlic. This is like minced garlic. I use that garlic press I love. And then we got uh, parsley. I'm gonna saute this up, Dar Sizzle, on the camera. Get down here and take a look at this. All right, I'm gonna saute this for three minutes, and then we're gonna be ready to the plate. All right, guys, it's been a couple minutes. Just need, really need to heat all, all that stuff up together, and we're ready to the plate. I'm gonna put it on my new Margaritaville uh, cutting board that they sent us. Thank you very much. We got a nice bowl. Watch this, guys. Look at these grits. Look at this. I just want to eat the grits by myself. You guys know I'm fat and Darcy doesn't let me eat any grits. But this is old school. Look at this. I'm going to put some meat on Darcy's bones today. It looks like mine too. All right, I got that off, right? Yes, look at this. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, my Lord. I'm just going to put that right on top. Nice. Look at that, guys. It's going to be delicious. Let's take it over the table for the taste test. All right, Dar Sizzle, how is it? It's to die for, so good. Deserve this delicious meal. You've been killing it in the kitchen lately with some awesome recipes. And of course, the Landshark Lager just pairs perfectly with some a meal that sticks to your ribs. Mm. Or the other saying is lifetime on the hips, a moment on the, no, a moment on the lips, lifetime on the hips. But worth it. <laughs> yeah, this, this time, I actually waited until I got to the table to taste it, and it is Absolutely delicious. Can't have enough bacon. Excellent. Excellent. So this special thanks to Red Ed for that awesome recipe. Once again, linking that down below in the description, as well as all his contact information. If you're interested in doing that, but scallop season ends September 25th. So you gotta jump on it, guys. Jump on it. I was even asking that too when I was editing the video. Um, real quick, I know we gave Ed some knives, and I know in the last video or two, we used this uh, cordless electric cordless grinder. And some people said, you know, never use a knife on one of those grinders. You know, it's, it's different tools for different things, guys. And, and we love the Smith's knives, but they're not 
$200 knives. They're not custom made knives by some knife maker from that knife show, okay? You could say the same thing about using a pull through. You know, those take a lot of metal off a knife. Uh, but you know, we're, we're down and dirty, we're flaying fish with a, uh, you know, under $50 knife, a great, a great knife at a price point. You can use a grinder, okay? It's nice and fast for me, okay? The best thing to sharpen your knife, and, and Darcy will tell you, is a stone. You're gonna get a nice edge with some practice and you're not gonna take a lot of stuff off your knife. That's perfect. Yeah. But quick and dirty, you can use the pull through. You can use a grinder, do whatever you want, all right? Yeah. Don't be afraid to sharpen your knives, y'all. That's the it's main not, thing. It's, not, it's very easy. Whatever method you wanna use to sharpen your knives, you, just use it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway. So thank you guys for joining us on this adventure. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. We sure did. Annual scallop trip is over for 2021. Can't believe it. But uh, we're going to enjoy this delicious meal. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers.